YouTube. This is part three. Um, I just got part one and two uploaded. I guess this is kind of like part three and part one of getting prepared for AC3, which comes out in October. So I'm really excited about it, in case you haven't told told by my other two videos. Um, but, um, so, I mainly decided to do part three right now because I kind of made some mistakes in the trailer analysis. Um, there is another confirmed weapon in the trailer an analysis that I forgot to mention, and that is, like, it's this cool little rope dart gun thing, like, that part where, um, Connor, our buddy, is, um, fighting some, uh, redcoats, and there's one hanging up in the tree, there's a scene just right before that where Connor shoots a guard in a tree, and that, and the rope, like, is, like, and then it's with, like, a grappling hook type gun, and he shoots it, and he jumps down, and then that's when the guard comes up in the tree. So he basically, yeah, it seems pretty cool to me. I think that's a good, a good idea. Um, we're gonna go kill the guard. It's over there. Anyway, so, yeah, there's that, and then, um, the first little town that you see in the trailer, um, because I watch IGN's trailer analysis, um, while I was uploading it, and, like, we, pr I pretty much said the same stuff as them, they said some more stuff, um, they have that one guy who's all about the historical accuracy, and he was saying some stuff, so that's why theirs is a little bit longer than mine, not insulting them or anything, it was a great one, but, um, so, they think the first village town type thing you see in that trailer where it's like overlooking it, that was a nice save, um, is Connor's Indian tribe village, the Mohawk tribe in Mohawk Valley, and the game's premiere trailer took place in Mohawk Valley, um, it's pretty noticeable, like, they, they really made it say that, too. These guards are such idiots. And, um, it's a new engine for the Assassin's Creed games. Sorry if it seems like I'm yelling, I just want to make sure you guys can hear me and the sound from the game isn't overtaking my voice. Um, it's a new engine, the moves are going to be much more fluid. Fluid. Like when you're running at someone with a hidden blade, you don't just kind of like stop and like slide, you like stab them while you're running. Oh shoot, it didn't kill that guy? Oh yeah, because these guys are the freaking weird people that take like multiple hits to kill. He wants to shoot his gun at me. So yeah, Connor is basically going to be able to do wield multiple things. Um, in the trailer, he do wields his tomahawk and his hidden blade in the trailers that have been released so far. Um, so, maybe you can choose your own combinations, like, maybe when you're, like, in the weapon wheel, like, where it's a secondary weapon, um, you'll still have all these hidden ones, like, these secret weapons, but, like, there will be a slot that is, like, um, do wield slot or something like that, and you choose what, you choose what weapon, like, you go on that and you hit 
A or X or whatever, and um, it sends you to like this weapon wheel with like primary weapons, and you choose a second thing. I think that's probably how it will work. That would be pretty cool. Um, the trees, I forgot to note this out, the trees, um, if you pay attention, when Connor's stalking that one, um, that one red coat, when Connor's in the tree and the red coat's on the ground, he's kind of running because he knows Connor's there. The red coat's all alone. If you look towards, like, the bottom of the tree, there is, um, a bunch of little, like, I forgot to call them, uh, branches, branches. There's a bunch of little branches just sticking out, which I assume are gonna, which I assume are gonna be like the, um, they're gonna be like the, like where you grab on, that, that would only be the sensible thing for all the branches that are down there. Get down! I'll show you! Oh, so yeah. Pretty much all I have for now. Um, now, so I, if you want to get used to using a bow, because again, we're not sure how the how you're going to be able to use the bow, but I I would not recommend just going around and using your crossbow. I mean, yeah, the crossbow is a bow, but it's not like a a bow that you're going to use in Assassin's Creed 3. Because this bow, you pull a trigger and the arrow shoots. But in Assassin's Creed 3, you get like a original bow, if you will. Or like, like a compound bow, except it's not a com compound bow because it's, it's just made of wood. It's just... See that thing? Oh, I'm seriously. That's another thing I don't really like about this engine. I hope they can kind of fix that if this is how you're going to be using your guns and stuff. You should be able to point at whatever angle you want instead of only being set. Um. Yeah, so everything's going to be more fluid. Fluid. And so it's going to be pretty good. I'm hoping, guys, I'm really hoping that um, I get a capture card. Because, one, my PC just kind of failed, as you guys know. Um, I mean, I can all, always reinstall all that stuff. Because the game, the Skyrim, I use Steam to help install it. So I can reinstall it through Steam. I'm pretty sure I can, at least. If I can't, then that will suck. Um, yeah, so I really hope you can do we can do that. I hope I get a capture card because that would be amazing. And it would help out doing all this a lot. In case you guys haven't noticed, basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get all my assassins um, to be master assassins so I get the Master Assassin armor set because basically makes you invincible, which is pretty good. Even though I rarely die in Assassin's Creed, so yeah. But um, so that's pretty much how. That's pretty much everything that I really needed to cover. I mean, if all else fails, if all else fails. I can um, still do a walkthrough for Skyrim. Just it would just kind of be this quality that we're using right now, which is an okay quality, especially 
after it's been processed through YouTube and all the extra lines and stuff have been removed. It's pretty decent quality. So, we might do that. It just depends. Like, do you guys want me to do an Assassin's Creed 3 walkthrough? Like, let's play type thing? When I get it? Or would you guys rather me not? Yeah, so you see how it kind of like takes a while to execute all these moves, like even if you're just holding down the buttons like I am, like when he lands it kind of takes a while. Like it took kind of a while for her to react, I mean it was still pretty decent. But basically it's going to be more fluid and the graphics are going to be better. And AC3. Is this well computed? Like, whenever you're just kind of walking at somebody, like this, and you go to assassin, you see how you kind of like stop? In AC3, it'll be like, where these guys come from? It will be like completely. Fluent. Like, stop. The guards are clueless in this game. So, yeah. Um, that's how all. In Assassin's Creed 3, or that it's been released so far. I'll probably do more of these kind of update type things as more stuff gets released. So, thank you for watching these, and goodbye. Goodbye.